Welcome back to John Madden Sales. Today we're going to give you a little sneak peek into bridling a young horse for the first time. This is Cherry Cola. She's a 2016 Swedish warm blood filly. She arrived at John Madden Sales about a year ago. She's been living in the herd primarily until recently, about a week ago. We brought her in and have started some groundwork, teaching her the basics of lunging, uh, how to stand on cross ties, picking up the feet, and we've just started the process of putting saddle pads on and putting the bridle on. The things I like to make sure I'm doing when I've got a young horse on the cross ties for the first fair bit of time, I always keep a lead rope attached. This gives me just a little bit more control. Um, the first couple times they're in here, I don't even hook the cross ties up. I just try to get them to stand and and be patient and get comfortable in here and then I've just recently started hooking her up but I keep the rope attached so I have some control in case something happens. Also keep breakaway halter on for safety purposes in case something were to happen and the cross ties have bailing twine as a breakaway system as well. Um, I also like to make sure I'm organized and have all the equipment and things that I need to do with her in here very easily accessible. And we have cabinets, but I even removed the step of going into the cabinet and have everything out on the counter just to make it easy so I can make sure I spend a uh, good time with her and don't leave her unattended for any extended period of time. This is the bridle I use when I'm breaking my babies. Um, I always like to use older tack, then I don't feel bad if something breaks. Um, I also, while I'm bridling for the first time, I like to take all the keepers out and have everything very accessible and easy to adjust. I also make the bit quite low um, to make it very easy to get over the ears. Um, the last thing you want to do is make a young horse shy about their head and about their ears, so uh, I'll get it over her head very comfortably and then worry about the buckles and making the bit higher in the mouth. I will disclose that I have bridled this horse in her stall already. Um, today will be the first day we're going to try this on the cross ties, so I am going to try it over the halter so I can maintain my rope on her and keep some control. The bit is set pretty low. The first thing I'm going to do though is I like young horses to want to take the bridle, so I keep a little container of molasses. She loves the molasses. And I dip the bit in the molasses. I've been finding over the years, this makes it a, a more pleasurable experience. And instead of fighting with the young horse to get their mouth open, they take it more willingly. It's a little sticky, but I prefer to be washing my hands of the molasses and have the horse take the bit nicely than to have a fight. So I've taken the cross ties off. You can see she's already looking for the bit, which is nice. Take the bridle of my hand, kind of introduce the bit easily. Because I've set this bit so low, I'm easily fitting this over her ears. Don't want to make her head shy. And then because I've got all my keepers out, I can very quickly and easily adjust the cheeks and get that bit up where it belongs. I don't even worry so much at first about putting these in the keepers. I just want her not to run me over out of the grooming stall, to take it nicely. And she's going to play with the bit a little bit. I also like rubber or plastic bits, heavy mouth bits to start. I think that they find it nicer than a cold metal bit. Now I've still got my rope, so I've still got control if I need it. She's being pretty good about this, mostly because molasses tastes pretty good. And then I can take the nose band and try to get it hooked up. Always remember to be patient.
Isn't she pretty? Now that she's kind of settling into the bridle, I can kind of work my way around, get everything in some keepers, all the loose pieces of leather out of the way. Throat latch on. Notice also I don't have the reins attached to the bit, and I probably won't for a little while. Um, I want to keep everything as simple and not complicated as possible. So when I start lunging this horse, I'll have the lunge line attached to the halter, just what she's used to. I've had her lunging in the pen um, with just the halter, and then I'm, all I'm doing, the only variable I have is the bridle. I'm not attaching the lunge line to the bit, I'm not putting bit pressure on, I'm just making it the only variable, and then we go back to normal. And once she can handle that, it might be a day, it might be two, it might be five, it might be a week, um, every horse is different, so I kind of go off of what they tell me when they're ready to do something new. She's been pretty good, so this is, um, this is a big step for this horse, having a bridle on. I don't want to change too much too quickly. So she'll kind of tell me what she's ready for, and then we'll go from there. So I've got her kind of used to the bridle. I'll lunge with the halter. And then eventually I'll lunge with a little bit of bit pressure and then I will long line and have bit pressure from both sides and be able to um, teach her how to steer that way as well. Um, I'm ready to take this bridle off of her. I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did when I put it on because again I don't want to I don't want to make her head shy. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on her ears at first. I do play with her ears a lot. She's pretty good about her head but I don't want to create an issue, so I'm going to lower the bit again, all the way down, make the bridle nice and loose, make sure I have all of my other straps undone. I've got my rope still, so I still have control of her. I'm going to nice and easily slide this off and try not, even though it's plastic, I still try not to clunk them in the teeth, taking it out. Everything that you do with a young one, makes an impression and they remember everything. So make sure you're patient, make sure you're organized, and you will be successful.